For question number 1, we are going to do 5.6 minus 0.37. This is subtracting decimal numbers. And when we subtract and when we add decimal numbers, we always have to line up with the decimal point first. So we will write this down as 5.6 and then minus 0. Point. You see how I line up with the decimal point right here? And then we continue with the 37 right here. This will be the setup. Once again, when we subtract or when we add decimal numbers, always line up with the decimal point. And then we can just go ahead and either subtract or add the regular way. On the top right here, this is 5.6, but I'm missing a number here. This is what? This is technically a zero. Okay? And then we'll just subtract. But what's zero minus seven? Doesn't really work. We have to borrow. Let's look at the six. Make the six into a five, and then that way we can make the zero into a ten. So we can do ten minus seven, and that will give us three. And then we continue with the next one. We will have the five minus three. That will give us two. And then we will have the five minus zero. That will give us five. We are almost done. Whenever we subtract or when we add, we always line up with the decimal point. Also for the answer. You see the decimal point is right here, it's right here. So we also have to put a decimal point right here for the answer. Therefore, the answer is 5.23. And that's answer choice A right here. That's it.